You don't need to travel far to experience authentic bush tucker. Just 30 minutes from Perth lies the Swan Valley and it's got an abundance of Noongar culture. I'm here in Henley Brook at the Marlinup Aboriginal Art Gallery where they share their history and art through performances and talks. But today, I've come for the produce. Brother and sister duo, Lyle and Dale Tilbrook, descendants of the Wadundi Bibbulmun people of the Margaret River and Augusta regions of WA, bring their heritage to the community by opening their bush garden and sharing their delicious recipes and food with the public. Native ingredients are very on trend right now, but as a chef, I know that it's important to take into consideration the cultural aspects. It, it sure is, because this is our traditional food mm. and the knowledge about this food is our cultural knowledge, yes. our intellectual property, as it were. And here in Yungar country, we had six seasons. Yes. And we looked to the environment to tell us what the season is. And this season right now is Gerin, which is autumn. Autumn. And it's one of my favourite seasons because it's the season when the emus lay their eggs. Oh, fantastic. So let's go and see some emu eggs. That'd be amazing. Good. We've been lucky to find a few emu eggs to accompany our native herbs. It's time to cook up a dish. Why don't we make an emu egg omelette? I think that's a grand idea, Fantastic. Stuart. Fantastic. Now, I've never done this before, so you need to teach me how to do this. OK, so first of all, you're going to sort of scramble the egg. Why wouldn't you just break the egg? Because we like to keep the shell ah, so that we can carve it or paint it. Put your lips on and blow. Beautiful. So we're going to chop up some of these beautiful sandal nuts. Some of this smoked emu here. Oh, look at this. I'm going to go a little bit of grapeseed oil, a little bit of salt bush, about a pinch. Some of these fantastic warrigal greens. It smells absolutely divine. Now we're going to pour our omelette over. This is the native pepperberry. Use that sparingly. It's a lot like a Szechuan, isn't it? You it know? is, it is. Put a little bit of the wattle seed in. That's This is a local right. wattle seed. It grows along the coast here in the southwest. It's starting to set nicely now. Now, these are one of my favourites. These are a kwandong. What is another name for a kwandong? So, we're going to call it in Yungar language, Dumbari or Wongup yep. or Wongil mm -hmm. or Wolgol. Outside of all of these, fan these fantastic ingredients, you've also got a little shop in Yagan Square. We do. Our bush tucker pie shop. And we've got some of your pies over here. Some here. So we've got chicken and lemon myrtle, yep. beef and pepperberry, and a kangaroo curry. All right, let's try this omelette. Whoa. Beautiful. That was well done. <laughs> <laughs> your first ever. My first ever. Emu egg omelette. Emu egg omelette. 